CBS 46 is your vaccine team. And tonight, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp reigniting the debate on masks in the classroom. He's taking action to give parents the power to decide what's right for their child. It's a yes or no decision and one the governor says should be up to each individual family. So he's crafting legislation to drop mask mandates at school districts. The push comes as COVID cases among school aged children drops substantially. State data appear to indicate we're past the peak of Omicron but as Patrick Quinn reports, some parents believe it's still too soon to say goodbye to masks. Hey, Sean and Rick, and we really could see this action coming from the governor for just two days ago. He went on a firestorm on Twitter, tweeting out that he was pursuing legislative and legal means to address the school districts like Atlanta Public Schools who have mass requirements. And today we saw that legislative action. We're working with our floor leaders and my administration uh, to introduce some legislation to address this issue. Governor Brian Kemp fed up with mask requirements in schools, saying it should be up to parents, not school districts. At this point in the pandemic, it is my belief that parents have the tools that they need to best take care of their children. Some parents I spoke with, like Tendrika Jordan, mother of four, want their kids masked up at school. At this point, I think the mask is uh, essential. They need the mask. Kemp is focused on these districts in Metro Atlanta, Atlanta Public Schools, Gwinnett, Clayton, DeKalb, Decatur that have mass requirements. People are just beyond frustrated. Nobody seems to be following the data and the science anymore. They're following the politics. But these districts say they are following the science. A Clayton School spokesperson told me while the district cannot control political actions related to this issue, it will continue to monitor data from local, state and federal health agencies and Atlanta Public Schools. And again, we do have data points that say February 7th, we still have that high transmission. APS said they need two straight weeks with low or moderate transmission levels to drop the mass requirement. We are excited about the downward trend that we're seeing with COVID-19 and we're very hopeful that as that trend changes. And I did reach out to the governor's office on when this uh, legislative could be actually introduced. A spokesperson could not give me a timetable, but told me it's coming sooner rather than later. There will certainly be some legal hoops it will need to address to override some of those school district protocols currently in place. We will be watching this very closely. Live in Atlanta tonight, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.